Hi, my name is Robbie Berry, and um, I'm just a normal high school kid in 10th grade. In the beginning of 2012, I was diagnosed with ca with cancer and um, had to get amputated in 2013 in October. The journey was hard, and I tried to keep my head up throughout the whole thing. It's not so much as um, what I did have to adjust to is what I had to make work. I learned to deal with um, deal with the leg and uh, in some circumstances use it as not really a crutch but somehow to get over it. Um, I had to adjust to it by uh, walking, going up the steps, going down the steps, um, and so on and forth to running, which is mainly what I wanted to do. The first thing my surgeon said to me was, Robbie, what do you want? And I answered him with, I want to run. All I wanted, uh, all I wanted then while I was in the hospital was to be like any other kid. But later on I found out that that's like exactly what I am. Um, nothing really changed. All, the, all that changed was I don't have a leg. The good thing was I had my family there supporting me so I wasn't alone throughout the journey. The best thing about what happened was it changed my attitude and the way I saw life itself. My sister had a big part of what was happening and so did my mom. You know, something that I remember is that um, when we would get ready to go in for chemo, and then you would sit down and talk to Dr. Rapkin, and we would wait for your uh, results to come in from your blood draw. I know that that always was something that, that kind of worried me, because I know you would prepare yourself for having to go in and go through chemo. But then... Um, how did you feel though? I mean, I guess I was I was just scared like any other person. I mean, like when when you go in, you just, you have to keep it calm and like have a peace with it. I mean, whatever God wants to happen, it's gonna happen. So if you if you freak out, your body freaks out, and you're just in a state that you don't want to be in. One of the things that didn't hold me back was uh, joining wrestling, and at that point, I'm just like. This is what I want to do. I don't really care what anybody else says. See, throughout, throughout your journeys and what you've got to accept is that no matter what happens, no matter what the outcome is, you can't let what has happened affect you in any way. If you just keep your head high and accept what's happened, you're going to be happier than having pity on yourself and just letting it hold you down like an anchor. If that does happen, you need to find a way, find an outlet to just let go. What well, was one thing that changed that I wasn't expecting was I got so much closer to God. Just to all the kids out there that who are going through hardships at home, no matter what it be, divorce, just other family troubles. If you let it pull you down, you'll never get back up. You need to keep a high head and just not worry about what's going to be what's going to happen. Again, don't let it hold you down or pull you back. You need to take it one step at a time and literally one day at a time.